1978. 1978. 1978. Something like 40 years ago. 1979, 1978. You just told me that it was the 40 year anniversary this year, so I guess 1976? 1977? 1978, is that right? Just learned uh, about 40 years ago. I don't know. <laughs> Opening up in Anhui, responsibility system, village town enterprises, and then entry in the WTO in 2001, and then trade, investment, uh, more opening up to the rest of the world. This policy started by Deng Xiaoping, also known as the Gaigo Kaifang. It led to further policies like One Belt, One Road, which is still in place right now. Infrastructure that led to major economic revival, deep water ports, and special administrative zones such as in Xiamen and Shenzhen. The most impressive opening is on uh, the financial uh, and economics. At least that's my impression, uh, much more freedom uh, Chinese people to travel and thing, and also from... From uh, foreign to come over yes. here. My brother-in-law lived in China when he was a child, something like 30 years ago, and he said everyone was still on bicycles, and now, of course, in China, obviously, it's so many cars and roads, and the public transit is very advanced, so China has been like, Voo! Before, I think China was uh, like a different world from other countries. Like, mm -hmm. we were very accepting about China, but nowadays, like, more and more people is knowing about like this wonderful country. Communication, relations, travel between China and other countries like the US where I'm from. And so I think it was the beginning of a long history of the countries coming closer together and being able to cooperate economically and otherwise. This is a good way for China to open its doors to the Western world so that it can benefit from its economy and not only that but it, its name also and reputation in the world. China is now standing in a good position to capitalize everything. I think everybody is involved, whether foreigner or Chinese, especially because it changed the economic landscape of China as well as every city in it. And more foreigners would come to China to do business, and more importantly, more Chinese to go abroad, to do business abroad, so very positive. I'm a circus performer, and I was invited to perform in Yangzhou for a Chinese New Year. There's openness of business relations. I was able to come here as a foreign worker and perform with a Chinese circus, which was a really amazing experience. I think without the reform and opening up policy, I wouldn't be able to be here right now. So I'm very happy that we have the policy. The living standards for many people in China have been improved dramatically since the policy came into place. I know that many people in my country also have been able to do better for themselves because of the advantages of trade with China and otherwise. We were actually on the subway and there were little kids, 11 oh, from yeah. 9 to 12 years old, they were happy to talk in English with us and they were sitting, it was fantastic. Hopefully I intend on opening my own business so I can bring um, the Australian culture into China and vice versa. So it will be easy for people to adapt to different cultures while they're still in their own. As a tourist it's fantastic that you can come in a place like this one where you can actually find everything and I mean from the real original things and ancient and old stuff to the more modern so you can actually feel that there is a vibrant city. I came here like close to two years now and I'm enjoying and sometimes I even think I love Shanghai, I love China, I don't want to live anymore so I'm happy, I like this country. Uh, why not to live here forever? China now is the market of the world. Now more countries like mine, uh, Mexico, doing a lot of business with China. Now I have my company in China and I'm quite happy for that. Here I know my life, I have my house, I have my car, I can travel more or less. But yeah, of course there are some restrictions for the foreign people. But the open policy is very good for me and the foreign people in China.